An exciting new time began for Baldwin Wallace on November 15, 1981, when Dr. Neil Malachy was inaugurated as the college's sixth president. The ensuing year has been highlighted by the Golden Jubilee of the Bach Festival and a nationally televised football game. Most recently, a recognition dinner for alumnus Robert Overmeyer, who piloted the Columbia Space Shuttle. The following is a review of 1982 at Baldwin Wallace. In the chain of office is a ceremonial symbol. Dr. A.B. Barnes has faithfully fulfilled this office since 1955. With the passing of this symbol of office to Dr. Neil Malachy, the transition of leadership is hereby conf confirmed. Chairman, Dr. Bonds, members of the Board of Trustees, members of the faculty, administration, alumni, neighbors, and friends, I accept the responsibility as president of Ball and Wallace College and the duties it entails with a deep sense of personal humility, professional challenge, gratitude for your confidence, and joy. Let me say right at the outset that if your education here teaches you nothing else, and I hope it certainly it will teach you many things beyond this, I hope it will teach you to begin to be very careful about labels and labeling. That is, if a liberal arts education liberates you from nothing else, at least ought to liberate you from the restrictions that exist, from even the imprisonment that exists that go around when we attach labels to things too easily. I would hope by the time you are finished at this institution, you will know more than you do now about being careful when you attach labels to a particular political group or economic group or nationality group or even racial group. And I hope you will leave this place 
with that sense of being aware and beware of labelings and the dangers that go with it. And yet reality forces us to recognize, doesn't it, that some labels are inevitable. Each one of you is now going to assume the label Baldwin Wallace student. Let's take a moment or two to look at who we are as a class of 1986. There are about 575 of you, about 400 of you have just come from high school. About 175 of you have come from another college. As Dean Collier said, you're not all 18 years of age, the majority are, but some 64 of you are over 30 years of age. A few of you are over 40. At least one of you is over 50 years of age and starting college for the first time. You come from 17 states and from seven foreign countries. Most of you are from Ohio, the next largest group from New York, then Pennsylvania, and then all around the country from Arizona to Connecticut to Florida to Maine to New Jersey. Ten of you were valedictorians or salutatorians of your high school graduating class. CAA football, Baldwin Wallace versus Wittenberg. Baldwin Wallace and Wittenberg is like to these people, Oklahoma and Texas, Alabama and Auburn. It's the most intense rivalry between these two. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the Yellow Jackets of Baldwin Wallace and their coach, Bob Packard. Okay, thank you, Pat. We are with Coach Bob Packard. Coach, uh, I know it's a big rivalry, but it's a little different today. What did you say to the team before you came out? Well, I, what we said was a great privilege for Baldwin Wallace College and Wittenberg to be selected to play uh, in front of the national audience by CBS. But we told them it's still a ball game. Uh, we got to go out there and play football that we're capable of playing. You said the players were kind of silent. Uh, they're silent. I hope that means they're really getting psyched up for the game. Now, over at Baldwin Wallace, you have a little faster tree of astral turf. Here it's grass. Does that make a difference? in your game it obviously does uh, it makes a difference in the sense that our players uh, feel a little faster at home uh, but they've played on grass many many years so I think we'll adjust all right to it okay coach Bob Packer good luck to you. second and <laughs> second and ten straight ahead hand off to Iacona he breaks some tackles and he might score Chris Iacona the man they can't beat out just showed us why they can't beat him out the type of guy that the closer you get to the goal line, the better he does. Watch this. He goes through, breaks the tackle, breaks another tackle, runs through one right there, and into the end zone. We'll be back with halftime activities after a message about an upcoming show on CBS and a word from your local station. Forward to half number two, and right now let's take a closer look at Baldwin Wallace College and Wittenberg University. At Baldwin Wallace College, our tradition of excellence extends beyond athletics to all areas of college life. The Music Conservatory faculty includes five members of the Bain Cleveland Orchestra. This year, conservatory students were invited to present the 50th Bach Festival at Kennedy Center. Baldwin Wallace is proud of its 20,000 alumni, including astronaut Robert Overmeyer, co-pilot on the next mission of the space shuttle. Located in Berea near Cleveland, Baldwin Wallace, with an enrollment of 3,700, provides quality education in 27 academic areas. 43 left to play in the game, and here comes Mastuccino in motion. Lance Curran's touchdown ball on Wallace. Mark Barron was the defender. Perfect pass from Moore. And ball and Wallace goes 71 yards on that play to take the lead. 
so the ball game is over. Baldwin Wallace, the Yellow Jackets, 16, and the host Wittenberg Tigers, 14. Special people bring out other special people. And we've invited a few friends to bring personal greetings and maybe a moment of memory about our honored guests at a former day. <laughs> Mr. Boyd Warnsman is president of the Baldwin Wallace Alumni Association. Boyd? Thank you, Neil. Colonel Obermeyer, Bob, and Kit, we take great pride in recognizing you as alumni of Baldwin Wallace College. It's a pleasure to particularly to recognize your contribution to our space exploration program. You really have set an example of uncompromising standards of excellence throughout your career of long service to our country. Your accomplishments make it possible today for all of us as Baldwin Wallace alumni be cited as outstanding leaders in endeavors that range from the depths of the ocean to the starry heavens above. As a symbol of our appreciation for both of you, and really admiration of you, as a member of the class of 1958, more than 19,000 alumni of Baldwin Wallace College present this chair emblazoned with the seal of the college. We hope you'll enjoy a prominent place in your home. Finally, in our brief presentations, a very special person, Professor Emeritus of Engineering and Physics, who had the privilege of teaching uh, Robert Overmeyer as a student, and who is here at the head table with us, is Professor Ted Bogardis. Welcome, Professor Bogardis.
Now it's my privilege to recognize Dr. Mark Collier, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Dean of the College, for the presentation of an honorary degree, Doctor of Science. Dr. Collier. For your extraordinary professional achievements in contributing to mankind's knowledge of himself as a citizen of the wider universe, for your significant and long-standing commitment to the service of our nation, for your discipline and skill demonstrated in the successful Columbia Space Shuttle flight, and for other merits as well, Baldwin Wallace College salutes you and confers upon you the honorary degree of Doctor of Science. of the authority granted to me by the Board of Trustees. It is my privilege to confer upon you the honorary degree Doctor of Science, to present you with this diploma, and to put you with this hood emblematic of your degree of Doctor of Science. We welcome you and we warmly greet you on behalf of the college. 